In this video, I will show you another example of AC circuit. Here, I will show you how to calculate node voltages using nodal analysis method. So, this is our given circuit. Find the node voltages using nodal analysis from the following circuit. In the circuit, we have two voltage sources. Okay, we have this current source. We have two resistances, 3 ohm, 4 ohm. We have two inductances with inductive reactance J2 ohm and this inductive reactance J3 ohm. Now see, we have this capacitance with capacitive reactance equal to minus J2 ohm. Now see, we have to find node voltages using nodal analysis. So at first we have to identify the total number of nodes here. If you see, we will have total three nodes. Let's say this is our node number one. This is our node number two. and this ground will be another node so usually when we use nodal analysis we take the ground terminal as our reference node and we assign node voltage of vo equal to zero volt to this reference node with respect to this zero volt let's say the phasor voltage of node one is equal to v1 the phasor voltage of node two is equal to v2 here this v2 v1 this voltage value, this voltage value, this current value, all the quantities are phasor quantities. So let's say from this point to this point, I have this branch. This branch impedance is Z1. Z1 is a complex number and it will be equal to 3 plus J2 ohm. Here this branch, the branch between this node 1 to ground terminal, I am denoting that branch impedance with Z2 z2 will be equal to j3 ohm now see between node 1 and node 2 i have this resistance let's say that branch impedance is z3 j3 will be equal to 4 ohm now see between this node 2 to ground we have this capacitive reactance let's say that branch impedance is z4 here z4 will be equal to minus j2 okay after that i will apply kishop's current law at this terminal and this terminal to find the node voltages so at first i will apply kishop's current law at node 1 in phasor form apply kishop's current law at node 1 in phasor form see all the currents in the node number 1 will be unknown current because there is no current source connected in node number 1 so the current in this branch will be equal to v1 minus 12 phase angle 0 degree over z1 the current in this branch will be v1 minus 6 phase angle 0 degree over j3 or z2 and the current in this direction outgoing will be equal to v1 minus v2 over 4 ohm or z3 so if i apply case of current law here i can write down v1 minus 12 phase angle will be 0 degree and that branch impedance is z1 plus v1 minus 6 phase angle 0 degree that branch impedance will be z2 plus v1 minus v2 over z3 as there is no entering current so right side will be zero now see if i separate the coefficients i will get 1 over z1 plus 1 over z2 plus 1 over z3 that will get multiplied with v1 minus 1 over z3 into v2 will be equal to 12 phase angle 0 degree over z1 plus 6 phase angle 0 degree 
with impedance z2 now if i put the value of z1 z2 and z3 here i will get previously i showed you z1 is equal to 3 plus j2 z2 is equal to j3 and z3 equal to 4 into v1 minus 1 over 4 v2 equal to 12 phase angle 0 degree z1 3 plus j2 plus z2 is equal to j3 over 6 phase angle 0 degree if you perform required calculation you will get 0 0.48 minus j 0 0.49 v1 minus 0 0.25 v2 in the right side you will get 4.75 phase angle minus 54.5 Two five degree and this will be our equation number one after obtaining equation number one I will apply Kishok's current law at node number two in phasor form when applying nodal analysis you will see from node two the current in this direction is unknown current so this will be outgoing the current in this direction will also be unknown current so this will be outgoing but the current in this direction is known current and that is indicated by this current source so in these two directions current will be unknown and in from this direction current will be entering okay now see if i apply keshav's current law at this node i will get v2 minus v1 over z3 plus v2 over z4 equal to 3 phase angle 10 degree So now I am applying Kishop's current law at node 2 in phasor form. I will get V2 minus V1 over Z3 plus V2 over Z4 equal to 3 phase angle will be 10 degree we know the value of z3 and z4 let me separate the coefficients here i will get minus 1 over z3 into v1 into v1 plus 1 over z3 plus 1 over z4 v2 equal to 3 phase angle 10 degree now see if i put the value of z3 and z4 here i will get minus 1 over 4 phase angle will be v1 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over minus j two v2 equal to 3 phase angle 10 degree if we perform required mathematical calculation we will get minus 0 0.25 v1 plus 0 0.25 plus j 0 0.5 v2 equal to 3 phase angle will be 10 degree this will be our equation number two here we have equation number one here we have equation number two if i write down equation number one and equation number two in matrix form i will get
0.48 minus j 0.49 minus 0.25 minus 0.25 0.25 plus j 0.5 v1 v2 in the right side we have 4.75 phase angle will be minus 54.25 degree here we will get 3 phase angle 10 degree now see we can determine the determinants by using Kramer's rule if I use Kramer's rule here I will get the determinant of the coefficient matrix that will be equal to 0 0.48 minus j 0 0.49 minus j0 minus 0 0.25 here i will get minus 0 0.25 here i will get 0 0.25 plus j 0.5 the determinant of this matrix will be equal to 0 0.324 with phase angle equal to 21.23 degree okay after calculating the value of determinant of the coefficient matrix i can calculate the determinant of the coefficients of v1 in that case i will replace this column with the values in this right side in that case the delta one will be equal to 4.75 phase angle minus 54.25 and here it will be 3 phase angle 10 degree and in this column it will be minus 0 0.25 here it will be 0 0.25 plus j 0 0.5 if i cross multiply this with this minus this with this i will get 3.41 phase angle will be 9.36 degree okay i can also calculate delta 2 delta 2 will be the determinant of the coefficients of voltage v2 in that case i will replace this column with the values in the right side in that case delta 2 will be equal to 0 0.48 minus j 0 0.49 here it will be minus 0 0.25 here it will be 4.75 phase angle minus 54.25 degree and here it will be 3 phase angle 10 degree okay if i cross multiply this with this minus this with this i will get 3.21 phase angle minus 42 point this will be 4 degree phase angle will be minus 42 0.4 degree so our node voltage v1 will be the delta 1 over delta this delta 1 is the determinant of the coefficients of v1 here delta 1 is equal to 3.41 phase angle 9.36 degree and delta is equal to 0 0.324 phase angle 21.23 degree this will be equal to 10.52 phase angle 11.87 volt and the voltage v2 will be equal to delta 2 over delta delta 2 is the co determinant of the coefficients of v2 here delta 2 is equal to 3.21 phase angle minus 42.4 degree and delta is equal to 3. Point 0 0.324 phase angle 21.23 degree so v2 will be equal to 9.91 phase angle minus 63.63 volt so these are the two node voltages for the given network okay that's it thank you